Me and Marvin Gardens, Chapter 23, 100 Years Ago. 100 years ago, my great-grandmother's relatives came to family picnics on the old farm homestead and slipped spare change into her apron pocket. She never served beer at picnics, only lemonade and iced tea. When my great-grandfather would leave for the bar, she'd hand all the spare change to my grandmother, who knew to bury the change somewhere my great-grandfather couldn't find it. Money for food. Money for emergencies. World War I was raging, and nothing was easy. It's not like my great-grandmother was ever going to wear anything fancy outside of her funeral dress. The money was for butter and thread, and sometimes she had to pay the doctor for accidents that happened to her because her husband had a problem. One hundred years ago, my great-grandfather came home from Hannah's bar on a family picnic was still in full swing. He brought out his gun and was showing off when he shot one of his workhorses by accident. He didn't have the money to buy another horse, so he went to the bank and got a loan to buy a new thing called a tractor. He put up 65 more acres for the money. The bank knew he couldn't afford the new loan or the old mortgage, but they let him do it anyway.